and the son of a, a wealthy black neighbor would visit your house when you were a child. Your father would leave the house. Um, obviously, we've come a long way since then as a nation, but there's still lots of raw feelings uh, out there as seen with the debate over the Confederate battle flag in South Carolina. Now, I have to ask, you're a former governor of Georgia. The flag of Georgia is based on the actual Confederate flag, and there are license plates in Georgia with the Confederate battle flag on them. If you were governor of Georgia, would you move to change them? Well, we had a very courageous and wise governor 14 years ago, Roy Barnes, who did away with the Confederate battle flag, which has a connotation of racism. And uh, he was defeated for re-election because of that, and that's the main reason he was defeated. And since then, the Republicans have been in governorship, but they haven't chosen to go back and reassert the Confederate flag, battle flag, into our agenda in Georgia. So I'm very proud of what Georgia's done. But what about the what about the license plates? I mean, do you, I guess I guess the, the larger question I'm asking is, is there anything from your time when you were governor? And I get that it was a, it was a very different era uh, where where you either embraced or turned a blind eye to symbols of the Confederacy that maybe caused pain to people uh, and then you that you might regret today. No, it wasn't it wasn't a matter of a Confederate flag. When, when I was a, a not inaugurated as governor, I made a statement that the time for racial discrimination is over. And that was such a momentous news item in 1971, even that late, that two weeks later I was on the front cover of Time magazine just because I said that. So we've made great progress in the South throughout uh, the South because of that. And I think that there are very few people that still look upon the Confederate flag uh, as a racist symbol. But for those who feel that way, the black people in our country, uh, we should do away with the Confederate flag and its emblem as white superiority. Uh, in every place that it exists.